Hey guys, it's Anna with Anna Travels back with another video. So we're at, what is it, what's the whole name? Castilla de San Marcos. It is, did I butcher that Cast Spanish? Castilla de San Marcos. Cas Castilla. Castillas. No, Castilla. Castilla de San Marcos. <laughs> <That's not>. <laughs> Spanish, <laughs> Spanish is not a strong point. <laughs> um, so we're, it is, what is, is it the oldest fort in the United States? I believe so, yeah. I, yeah, we think it's the oldest fort in the United States. It's in St. Augustine, which is one of the oldest cities in the United States, or I think it is the oldest um, city in the United States. We're just going to do kind of a self-guided tour. If you are military or former military, my husband was in the army, um, as long as you have like an ID that has like the veteran status, you get in for free. So we both got in for free. Uh, so, but I think they also do senior discounts. Um, they also said there were some other discounts. Um, they also, if you have a national park pass, um, you can get in. Um, and if you go to the, a lot of the parks, it's like 80 bucks for a year. Um, so yeah, so there's some different options. Oh, and kids under the age of 15 are free. So if you have a bunch of kids, they're free. And I think seniors, I think, what was it? I think she said 62. Don't quote me on the senior age, but she said after a certain age, I think you're also getting for free. So we're just gonna do a little tour, um, self-guided tour, and just check out this whole fort. I forgot to mention, if you aren't any of those, it's $15 uh, to enter the park, so not that bad. They started building this, it was born in 1672. It was, what was year? 1642? No, so they started building, according to the brochure, at least it says they started building this in the, <laughs> Castilla de San Marcos was constructed between 1672 and 1695. Okay, so this never built a battle. It was built in between 1672 to 1695, and it's never fallen in battle. Impressive. <laughs> Did you go? <laughs> the bird. Oh, the bird's hanging on the wall. Oh, the pigeon. I don't know if it shows up in camera. <laughs> it's one of the soldiers living quarters. This mortar was made in 1794? 1724. Oh, 1724 in Barcelona. Gosh, the things it has seen, if it could see. These little details they put on these cannons, I can't really zoom in, but... I don't know if you can see my husband, but he definitely would not been able to survive in 1600s as a giant. <laughs> what? Yes, I'm making fun of you. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I'm, yeah, I know I am normal sized. <laughs> I was like the average shoulder. <laughs> Just walk right in. Oh wow. 
It is nice and cool in here. To the front, you see all the cannons down there, and then to the left. Oh, we have little tankards for. Yeah. What is the design? Oh, that's neat. Little gift shop. They have pins and patches. Those are tokens. I'm sorry, didn't you? Those are tokens of the national park. And we're on one side, and the Spanish crest is on the other. You're all the same, and you can clap them. So it sounds like y'all are the national park. Yeah, let's get our usual magnet. What magnet should we pick? Don't you think? I mean, isn't that fabulous to do? This is a pretty cool one. Did you have 2020? Oh, you want to get that one? Oh, no. So, what, what do you like, man? Oh, I sh actually do shoot the cannons occasionally. Yeah. That's what I think my old co workers know now. Look at this one. I like the cannons. Oh, we can get a little mini cannon. I don't have anything. It's a pencil sharpener. Is it? Yeah. It's a Pencil sharpener. We just finished up at the fort and it was really cool. Like, if you have a chance to go, it is pretty amazing. Um, it's amazing the structures that, you know, people in the 1600s made. Uh, so now we're gonna look for some food that might be, depending on how long we stay, it might be its own block or it might just stick it at the end. Uh, we might do a food tour seeing how I feel, but we'll find out. So, let's get something to eat. So I got an iced cafe con leche, and my husband got a just regular hot one. He got a regular cafe con leche, as he says. 